Okay, so I'm Mike Hanna, one of the neurologists here, and I'm pleased to talk to you a bit about what is one of the most important parts of Queen Square, which is the Centre for Neuromuscular Diseases, where I work, and uh, how the National Brain Appeal has been instrumental in helping us establish this um, centre and uh, helping a large number of uh, patients. So I'll talk a bit about the centre um, and about some of the specific things that the NBA has funded, including PhD studentships as well as some MRI-related uh, research. So about 20% of the patients that come to Queen Square have neuromuscular diseases. These are muscle-wasting diseases in which patients become very weak and have difficulty with mobility. Sometimes they're fatal at a young age, sometimes they're lifelong disorders. There's about 100,000 people in the country with these disorders, so a similar prevalence to something like multiple sclerosis. They're extremely varied and can include childhood onset genetic diseases like muscular dystrophy. Uh, they can include disorders of the peripheral nerve supply to muscles. Patients get muscle wasting and weakness. Um, and they can uh, include problems of energy production in muscles, such as mitochondrial diseases, and also they can come on in some patients later in life, so there are acquired muscle wasting diseases such as motor neuron disease and inclusion body myositis, and they can be very disabling conditions. Some of them are very rare, and, and we've developed particular expertise in some of these conditions and are a national uh, centre. So this is just an example of an electrical failure of muscles. Muscles depend on channels to work properly, iron channels that conduct electricity into them. This is an example of a genetic channelopathy in which patients get severe attacks of complete paralysis. So this is a child completely conscious but has completely lost all muscle power. And this will go on for a day or two and then they might recover but have recurrent attacks through their life and we're now the National Centre for Diagnosing and Treating These mm -hmm. Disorders and have done trials and developed effective uh, therapies in some of these conditions. So the centre which um, has now been funded by the MRC but was supported uh, the physical centre by the NBA is in the business of doing, taking science into patients and doing trials to find better treatments. Uh, we know that this pathway from making a fundamental scientific discovery through to a clinical trial to a therapy, this translational pathway is really quite complex and depends on a multidisciplinary team which we've been able to create thanks to the support of the NBA. So the, in 2008, a particular section of Queen Square crossing 8 to 11 was redeveloped with funding from the NBA and this allowed us to bring together all the different colleagues that were spread across Queen Square in different places into one physical centre to create this multidisciplinary team environment both for clinical service delivery as well as for research. Uh, the centre opened in 2009 and is a really um, nice state-of-the-art physical location that includes um, uh, spaces for, for the whole team to be based, including a seminar room. Uh, and importantly, there's a clinical trial set up in the centre, so we can do very detailed clinical assessments to measure various aspects of neuromuscular function on site. Um, the MRC awarded as a centre status uh, initially in 2008 and I'm sure that the uh, support of the NBA was critical in this developing this translational research centre uh, which links a number of uh, scientific research <coughs> groups all focused on taking the science into early phase clinical trials uh, in patients. Mm -hmm and uh, working across the centre with colleagues at Great Ormond Street and in Newcastle, we have identical uh, clinical trials facilities so we can run protocols across the country in these three centres, uh, the same protocol and that helps patients access trials which is an important aim of the centre. Um, so since the centre opened, uh, this uh, along the top here is the pipeline from basic science to, to clinical practice. Um, we've been able to operate at this interface between science and trials and we've delivered over 34 clinical and tr trial studies. We've set up a biobank with now 2,000 samples of patient muscle tissue to do research on. Uh, we've done biomarker studies using MRI to monitor disease progression. Uh, we've done some animal research and we've got uh, a, num a large number of funded PhD students, some of which are funded by the NBA to do research in various aspects of neuromuscular disease. 
One effect of this um, uh, is that the number of patients enrolled in experimental trials has, has gone up significantly since the centre opened. So uh, the last count in two, uh, 20, uh, 2013 was that there's over 300 patients have completed or are involved in uh, uh, therapy trials and experimental trials in neuromuscular disease, which is a big change compared to 2006. And in terms of collecting cohorts of patients for detailed evaluation, uh, for natural history studies, and as, uh, and as uh, patients for potential entry into trials, we've managed to develop cohorts of over 5,000 patients with different uh, neuromuscular diseases and follow them up uh, on a serial basis across the centre. Um, you've heard about MRI of the brain, but we've been applying MRI to muscle um, through support from the NBA and have developed quite sensitive techniques to monitor uh, disease progression um, in a whole variety of different muscle diseases and correlate that very carefully with detailed strength measurements. And this is very important for, uh, for monitoring uh, response to therapies and various um, <coughs> imaging modalities have been uh, developed. Education and training is a key part of what the centre does, and the MBA has uh, supported uh, four uh, PhD students that are now at various stages of their PhD training, and they've benefited from the whole environment of the, uh, the centre. Uh, the centre has definitely become a sort of nationally recognised and actually internationally recognised um, research and clinical centre. Uh, we have an annual translational research conference, um, which um, actually is now in its sixth year and attracts about 300 delegates every year to, to talk about the best science that's happening and its translational uh, potential. Um, and then the uh, MRC have renewed our centre status just last year for a further uh, five years, and I'm sure the support of the NBA in making the physical centre a reality was a, a key part in us successfully getting uh, the MRC to renew uh, until 2018. So, so all the <coughs> colleagues across the centre are extremely grateful for the support of the um, National Brain Appeal, which has been critical for increasing the profile and, and moving things forward in this particular previously neglected area of, of neurological uh, disease. Uh, so I want to thank um, the NBA, thank Teresa and all of the trustees for their generous support. Uh, I'm well aware that this has to be a two-way process, so I'm pleased to tell you that we will be doing the um, uh, Bupa 10K again this year. Uh, this will be our sixth year of doing it, and this year we're raising money for the um, Operating Theatres Appeal as well as for the Neuromuscular Centre, uh, and this is the website. And I actually hear a rumour that Alan Thompson may be doing this next year. <laughs> Thanks a lot.